Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a stick of Coventry rock. Now, this is traditionally, normally, um, seaside rock, okay? And normally you would get this at the seaside, okay? You wouldn't normally get it in a city like um, mine, okay? And um, the only reason why I think they've done it this year in my city is because my city of Coventry is the official UK City of Culture 2021, which I know is last year, but because of COVID, the celebrations are carrying on till this year, okay? So, and this is the sort of thing you would normally get at the seaside in Britain. It's apparently very specific to Britain, generally, what you're about to see. Now, apparently, some people said that sticks of, of uh, you know, candy like this originate from India. I've believe and things like that but there's something very specific about what we do in Britain with it which I'll show you okay now firstly and I'm just going to show you it's just got a stick on it saying Coventry UK City Culture 2021 and it's just got a list of ingredients on it and this is what makes it special okay I don't know if you can read it probably not but it says lettered all through and it says the maker and, and it says the manufacturer is Teddy Gray of Dudley but that's not what's important what's important is when it says lettered all through okay now this is what makes um, British seaside rock so special all right now firstly you make a hint here I'm going to show you first without taking the wrapper off. And if you look, you'll see the word Coventry on the end. Okay. And at the bottom, if I turn it this side, you'll notice the word rock. It's got Coventry rock printed on the actual. And you can eat this, okay? It's, it's you know, done so you can eat it. Now, I'm now going to open it. I'm going to take the um, wrapping off if I can. It should be very interesting. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to do this, but I'm going to try. Okay, yes. Yeah, so now I'm going to take off the wrapping. And there is a reason behind this. Now. can see here is the label that I was trying to show you earlier and there you can say it's lettering all through now the point is if you now look at this stick of rock again this time with the wrapper off you'll see it's got the word Coventry at the top and rock and if I turn it round at the back you also see it's got carpentry and rock, but it's backwards. You would actually need to look at this in a mirror. And that's because even if you snap it, it the lettering goes all the way through. So they didn't just do just the edge, just the, just the side. It goes all the way through the stick of rock, all the way through. Now, I'm going to, I've not, this is bound to go badly wrong. I'm going to try and snap it in half and see if I can do this. And so I've just snapped it in half. Right. And there, even though I've snapped it in half, you'll now notice it's got Coventry rock. This is on the bit that I've broken. In case you think I'm cheating. That's Coventry rock backwards. And here you've got Coventry rock. And again... And here, the Coventry rock backwards, okay? So, this, so you could snap and break this anywhere within this stick of rock, and you'll be able to see the wording. Now, normally, rather than Coventry, normally you'd have the name of a seaside town, okay? And usually, for example, Brighton, where I used to live for about three years, used to have these regularly, and also... a Many, many years ago, we went to Blackpool when my dad was still alive. And um, 
they also had um, a Blackpool rock. And as I said, it's ex practically the same. Sometimes you'll get different colours on the outside. Sometimes the outside will be striped. It's, you'll always get it being white in the middle. Okay, and sometimes the colours of what the colour of the <coughs> what I call the wording is different. So sometimes, for example, you might get a green one if it's a, got a green outside. Sometimes you get um, it where it is generally striped outside. Sometimes, um, you know. But there you go. So. Obviously a bit's broken off somewhere. I don't know when I was snapping it somewhere a bit's broken, but there you go So And I can just suck on some of this So you see, Coventry sucks literally. I'm sucking on Coventry, and um, this is very, very sticky and very, very stiff. So essentially, you can chop this with a knife. And that's what I probably should have done, truthfully, but. As I said, it's very. You can see, I've managed to have some of this off. It takes quite a long time to eat this, and really, I should cut it with a knife, but never mind. Uh, I haven't had some of this stuff for years, to be honest, so I don't think I have anyway. So, there you go. And you can cut it and put it in your mouth, but I think you get the idea, okay? So, once again, um, Coventry Rock, turn it around properly. As I said, you would not normally get. Um, a normal city or a normal town that isn't associated with the seaside having the name of the city or town on it. it would, uh, it's normally only for seaside resorts. This is a special occasion because the whole world was meant to come to my city to celebrate um, Britain, essentially. You know, the new, and as my city is the official UK city of culture at the moment. Okay, and I, if you're wondering where I got this from. Okay, I got this from the indoor market in my city of Coventry, um, which is one of the best um, indoor markets in the country. Okay, it, at one stage actually, even I think once even won a prize once. And um, at one stage, I think some people wanted to tear it down, and um, the, and so some politicians got involved, and other people campaigned. And so the market itself was given, I believe, um, a specific um, listed building um, status, which means that it has to be preserved as part of British culture and cannot be officially destroyed. Even if somebody wants to buy it, they're not allowed to by law because it is considered part of British heritage. OK. And... Um, Also, I think it's, although it's no longer used in this way, once upon a time, I think it was one of the first, um, I think it was the first ever market to have um, an upstairs car park, where in the past you could actually go in and you could drive up and park above the market. You can't anymore, it's been closed off. But um, you could have when it was built, okay, or designed or whatever, right? 
but for many years that hasn't happened due to safety reasons and um, there is plenty of other car parking in the town now but there you go so there you go guys Coventry Rock and normally it said Brighton or Blackpool would be the word you'd usually see more so go that, that side there you go guys Coventry Rock So if yeah, yeah that's better. So now you can see it. And just in case my um it's the wrong way around on my camera, there you go. It's just difficult to know which way around this is going to actually appear when I actually um show it. Okay, because sometimes I film it one way and then it turns it round and I'm I just normally talk into the camera, I don't worry about which way around it is, so there you go. So there you go guys, Coventry Rock, and as I said, the printing of the words goes all the way through the stick of rock, all the way through it, okay? So there you go guys. It would take me probably hours to eat this, but never mind. So that's something I can suck on now and again. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. This is what is known as Seaside Rock. I know we're not a seaside city, and this is, but this is what you would normally have, a seaside rock, okay? And the idea of the lettering going all the way through, as I said, is, to my knowledge, specific to Britain, okay? So there you go. British culture for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and by the way, it, I think this cost about 80p. I got this specially for you guys so that you could see it. Because after this year, I'm sure we won't have any anymore. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.